Kalpa by Coulter Wall can be played in standard tuning. Uh, I'm actually tuned down a full step and then capoed on the second fret of the guitar, um, which is what uh, how he plays it because he tends to just keep his guitar tuned down a full step anyway. Uh, but the song is actually in standard tuning. I just happened to have a guitar sitting around that was tuned down a half step. So I just capoed on the second fret just like him. But uh, to play this song, if you're already in standard tuning, there's no need to retune or put on a capo because whenever I play a C chord here, it's going to be the same as your C chord in standard tuning. So the intro is going to actually, let me back up. Uh, it's going to be finger picked and it's in a, a three, four count. Like there's three beats per measure. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. It's a waltz. Um, and the finger pick pattern will basically be a down, down, up, down, up, 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 with the down being the one of each measure and the down, up, down, up being the two and three of the measure. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Um, so with that picking pattern in mind, that pretty much stays constant through the whole song, the intro is going to move between a C and an A minor at first. The way the C is getting made is ring finger on the 6th string 3 fret, pinky finger on the 5 string 3 fret, 2nd finger on the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, 1st finger on the 2 string 1 fret, open 1 string. And you can hear that C getting hammered on into with your 2nd finger um, starting off of the 4th string and hammering on to the 4th string 2 fret. So you get the, the strum and the hammer on and then down up, down up and then it's going to go to an A minor. Uh, your five string now will be open. Your second finger needs to be on the four string two fret, ring finger on the three string two fret, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string. You'll hit uh, your thumb on the open five and then down up, down up. And then moving back into the C. Uh, in the intro, there tends to be a quick walk uh, where your second finger will hit the five string two fret and then you'll need to fall with fingers right back into that C formation and it'll sound like so you hear me hitting that B, B, C, A minor, B, C, A minor, B, C So that's kind of a quick movement to make, but I make it by out of my A minor, moving with my second finger to the five string two fret, and then by my next strum down, I'm moving into full C formation. Uh, and then also you can hear that reverse happening as well from the C, C, B A minor, B C, B A minor. And it doesn't necessarily do it every time, but that's a nuance that he does throughout the song. So walking up from the A minor with a quick kick up C, a uh, quick kick up B into the C, and then back down into the A minor with a quick kick up B into the A minor. Uh, so it does that like twice or maybe even four times. And on the fourth time, it stays on the A minor alternates between thumb striking the 5 string and thumb striking the open 6 string. Now in this chord, sometimes he'll lift up 
the second and ring fingers out of the A minor and hammer back down like that. Uh, sometimes he does a pull on a G note where you would reach with your pinky finger and grab the sixth string three fret and then hit the A minor again. I'm going five string, six string, six string third fret pull, and then back into the open five string all over the A minor shape. Also, sometimes in this A minor shape, another little embellishment that happens is that sometimes he puts his pinky finger down on the one string three fret. While alternating between open five and open six. All right, so those are really kind of all things to just keep in mind for any time that we're in an A minor. Because sometimes that grab happens, sometimes that pinky on the one string three fret happens, sometimes a hammer on happens, and there's no real rhyme or reason to when or how those take place. It's just all um, things that he does kind of out of spur of the moment preference over an A minor chord. So in this intro, we're still in the A minor here. And then it goes back into the intro chords again. Uh, C to A minor, C to A minor, C to A minor, A minor to the, the sixth string, five, six, five, six, where he's doing a little yodel, and then it gets into the verse. The verse is going to be the same C chord. The only difference here is that you're not going to walk it down to an A minor. You're actually going to hit the C chord, and then you, so one, two, three. This is our first measure of the C chord. The second measure of the verse will begin by you just hammering on with your second finger to the fourth string two fret. So first measure, one, two, three. Second measure, two, 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 three. One, two, three, two, two, three. So that's the first and second measure of um, the first round of each verse. So I'm plucking five string three fret with my thumb. Uh, then So one, two, three, hammer on. Two, two, three, second second measure, so I think I've established that. After that hammer on, it goes to an F chord and then back to a C chord, F chord back to C chord, and just kind of uh, jumps back and forth uh, one measure each. The way that it moves to the F chord is that you would move with your, uh, your first finger just needs to stay where it's been in that C chord on the second string, first fret, but your ring finger and pinky fingers will just fall down on a set of strings. Your ring finger's on the five string three fret, your pinky finger's on the four string three fret, your second finger now can be hammering on to the three string two fret inside of this F, and your thumb can be grabbing the six string one fret, or you can just avoid the six string altogether and go five string down. So you're going F to the C, one, two, three, two, two, three, F, two, three, C, two, three, F, two, three, C, two, three, um, and the fourth time, I think it's the fourth time, uh, listen along with the recording and make sure I'm right on this, but like on the fourth time it holds the C and then you hit the six string three fret where your ring finger needs to be for that C chord anyway. And it walks back up into the C for the second round of verse. So that would be six string three fret, open five string, second finger to the five string two fret and then back into your C chord. And this is the second round of the verse where we begin again with C chord, and then the hammer, and then F, C. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And now here the fourth time, it's gonna walk down to that A minor. You hear those pulls on the six string three fret? Um, and then it goes into another yodel and another verse. And then out of the second verse and kind of chorus feel, I guess, you get a slight little uh, instrumental break where, so out of the A minor to the E, like open five string to the open six string, he opens the four string and then hammers with his second finger to the, five, uh, to the four string two fret then hits the open three string and then falls into basically a C chord. Um, my thumb is now hitting the five string where my ring is on the five string three fret. And then we're going to 
that is in C formation, strike the open three string, hammer on with your second finger to the three string two fret, and then pull it off to have the three string ring open again. So out of the A minor, we had gotten into the C chord, hammer on the three string to the two fret to the three string open, then do the same thing on the four string. Uh, you're hammering with your second finger to the four string two fret, pulling off the four string open, and you're re-striking where your ring finger still is on the five string three fret. And then you hear like an up down of the C chord, and then it moves into a version of an F chord. It's not the full blown F chord from before, but a smaller F chord where your ring finger moves to the four string three fret, second finger to the uh, three string two fret, first finger to the two string one fret, and you'll strum just over four, three, and two strings. And then you'll put your pinky finger down on the two string three fret, and then pick it back up so that you get and then it goes back into the C chord, and then back into the F chord, with that same hammer on with your pinky finger to the two string three fret, but after you hammer it here, you'll then pick it up and move your pinky to the one string three fret, and strum again over that F chord, so that you get a feel like this. Oh, hang on, let me remember where I am. So that's the first time into the C. The F, and then back into the C. You can then, in that C, you hear an open four string hammer with your second finger to the four string two fret, uh, then open it back up to the four string open. You'll hit the five string three fret where your ring finger still is. Open up the five string pluck that, then go ring finger 6 string 3 fret, pluck that, and then back into the A minor. So that riff becomes back into the A minor. So very slowly, that whole little instrumental part comes together the way I'm hearing it, like this. So it's happening just over the verse chords, uh, basically, but that's the little bit of embellishment that happens there. Essentially, it's just kind of hammer-ons and pull-offs inside of the C box and your F box. And then it goes into another verse. All right, so I think that about covers it. Those are the chords and the movements to Calpoke by Coulter Wall. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.